of Hermione's got on knickers in a twist? What leaven I have? Well, let's just say it's chemical. There's no stopping it. Suppose you're going to Slughorn's party? Yeah. I, I better go. I'm meeting Luna down by the boathouse. Luna? You can take any girl in the castle and you're taking Looney Lovegood. Yeah. Good one! Oh. Have fun. Mum will let me come back after Christmas. The Death Eaters can't do anything here. Not with Dumbledore around. Hi, Luna. That's a nice dress. Do you think I should wear my radish earrings as well? Can't decide if they go with me. No, no, you look fine. I'm glad you came. Professor Slughorn asked me to set these fireworks off to announce his party. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with them. We just need to cast Incendio on their fuses. Incendio! That's pretty! like the others. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. The auras have opened this part of the castle now. Come on, let's get a slug on party.
have been to this part of the castle in my sleep. A sleepwalk, you see. That's why I wear shoes to bed. Harry, my boy, glad you came. There are so many people I want you to meet. Professor Slughorn, there's no one else here. Of course not. And a good job, too. We're not ready yet, not at the least bit ready. That's where I could do with a spot of help. I'm sure you and Miss, uh, uh... Lovegood. Here, we'll soon get the place in shape. I was going to rustle up a party punch for my guests, but time has not been willing. Could you mix something for me, perhaps? from the gods, a taste of sunshine and happiness. I knew you were the man for the job, my boy. Our guests are here. Stop there, Potter. I only wish to convey a message. Professor Dumbledore asked me to give you his best. You see, he's traveling and will return until term resumes. Traveling? Where? Take your hands off me, you filthy squib. Now, oh, now, Mr. Filch. What is all this fuss about? Okay, okay. I was gate crashing. Happy. I'll escort him out. What were you doing there? I don't have to tell you anything. You shouldn't 
push me around. I am trying to help you. Maybe I did hex that Katie Bell girl. Maybe I didn't. What's it to you? I swore to protect you. I made the unbreakable vow. I don't need protection. I was chosen. This is my moment. Bloody hell. You don't think Snape was just pretending? No. He even said he'd taken an unbreakable oath. The unbreakable vow? Yeah. What happens if you break an unbreakable vow? You die. <laughs>